Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. So this is Dr. Ayush Agarwal and I am here today to help you guys out with the NEET MDS 2023 counselling. So this year they have made it a little different with a lot of clauses and a lot of changes in the process uh, and a little change in the schedule as well. So we will discuss it briefly so that you guys don't do any mistake during the counselling and uh, don't get your security or the college uh, fee forfeited right so please watch the video till the end so that you get all the important points covered and uh, please write it down somewhere if you need that okay so let us start so this is the pdf that i will be using for the reference this is a common PDF for the NEET PG, uh, MD, MS, DNB and for MDS as well. So these are some abbreviations that you can see for your reference. So here is the schedule. Uh, this is the, not the schedule actually, it is the chart. And it's a very big and a complex chart. So what I've done is that I've just simplified this chart for you guys. So firstly, let us see the counseling uh, con -con counselings we have very quickly so we have all india counseling and the state counseling right so all india counseling has already started from 27 july till 1st august the registrations will be uh, can be done uh, till 12 noon and state counselings are different for different states like uh, Every state will give the dates and uh, get the counselling done. Some states have already uh, announced the dates. Some states are yet to announce. Alright. So the next we have the sequence. How the counselling is going to be. So the sequence is very simple. Wait. So here is the sequence, it is like firstly you have your All India Round 1 that is that is started from 27th right so uh, then you have the choice filling from 2nd uh, not 2nd actually from 28th to 2nd uh, and then 2 days for choice filling and locking then after All India Round 1 you have the State Round 1 okay whatever your state will be you will have your state round one after all india round one gets over and by round one here i mean the results so when the results will get over with the all india then only the state results will be out for round one then we have the all india round two and then we have the state round two then we have all india round three last time Turk, it was mop up but this time it is round three and then we have state mop up or round three whatever and then we have the stray round for all india and the state this time what is the change that i should be telling you right now right here it's simple that the stray round will also be online there is no offline round so that there is no donations that some institutes offer or ask for uh, when you go for offline so it's a very transparent process this time so we have the all india round one then we have state round one all india round two state round two all india round three state round three or mob up and then the stray rounds so every round has its rules be it all india or be it state so it's very important for you to know the rules before sitting in the counseling and for every state you whatever your state is just read the brochure very carefully when you're sitting for your straight counseling right now i'm uh, discussing the all india counseling briefly so let us see the all india counseling round one so here we have round one we have the registration that is from the 20 7th to two, uh, 1 august right i have not written the dates because i think you must know the dates by now then we have the choice locking and choice filling see you do 
there is a very important point that I want to mention here that whenever do you do choice filling, firstly just make a list in a rough notebook and then do the choice filling. Don't be in you know a, a hurry and do anything and fill anything and uh, you're not sure whether you will take that college or not if you get it so don't do that if you are filling a college just be sure that if you get it you take it you can take it for an option for first round but don't do that in the second round because if in second round you don't take that seat then you have to get forfeited with the deposit and one thing also i want to tell you what does this word forfeit mean? So forfeit simply means that your uh, money won't be back. Okay. So if uh, you know you do any mistake in the whole counseling, then your money won't be refunded you know uh, the 25,000 money that you have given for the all right so here we have it so see when you do the registration then you have to give the deposit right you have to give the security deposit so it's 25k for government seats and 2 lakh for private or for dean seats so if you do any mistake and in the counseling by mistake what i mean i will tell you when i will be explaining you the rules so there are rules when your money can be forfeited and when i use this word forfeit that means that your one money won't be refunded that 25k or 2 lakh whatever is the, your case it won't be refunded if you do any mistake uh, and what mistake that i will be telling you right All right, so here we have the choice filling and choice locking. I already told you, please don't do, uh, don't fill any college just like that. Ki aise bhar ke dekh hai ki milta hai ya nahi. Dekhna nahi hai. If you get it, then you have to take it. Okay, you can put it an, uh, as an option in round one, but don't do that in round two. I'm repeating this. Then you have two cases, whether you get a seat allotment or you don't get it. So if you don't get it, so you can simply exit or you can go for round two. So you can simply exit the counseling, whole counseling, mujhe aage koi bhi round participate nahi karna hai. you will get your money refunded. If, if uh, you still want a seat, you can go to round two. Now, next comes the case when you get allotment in round one, then Again, there can be two scenarios that either you report to the college or you don't report to the college. If you don't report to the college, then it's simply a free exit. It's a free exit as you can see. If you don't report. Means, what does it free exit means? It means that you will get your money refunded. It will be refunded, okay. money will be refunded but in case you report to the college you have to complete the admission formalities no matter what you have to complete the admission formalities and then they will ask you would you like to upgrade or not if you don't want to upgrade simply start studying in that college if you want to upgrade in r2 then still you have to complete the admission formalities that's what i am trying to tell you and then you can opt for upgradation it means that you are holding a seat okay that means you are holding a seat means if you don't get a seat in r2 in this uh, in this scenario still you still have your r1 seat so you are holding the seat but in this case when you have free exited and you have not reported you are not holding the seat and if you don't get anything in round two, you cannot 
गो एंड से ठीक है पहले वाले राउंड में जो मुझे मिला था वही मुझे दे दो यू कॉन्ट डू दैट बट यू कैन डू दैट इन दिस केस ओके सो आई होप दैट्स इज क्लियर नाउ राउंड वन इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स गो टू राउंड टू All right, so this is round two. So round two may we have we can have two kinds of candidates. First is who opted for upgradation from round one to round two. So let us just discuss them. Now, firstly, so here is your case. So if you want an upgradation and you got it in round two, then you have to go to round one college again, and then you ask for a leaving letter from round one college, and then join R two. You have to go to R one first and get a relieving letter, and then come to R two, give that relieving letter to them, and then you join R two, complete admission formalities, and then start studying in that college. But the second case is you have not been upgraded in R two. Then you have two options here. First is retain your R one seat. What you got in R one, you can retain it because you were holding the seat from R one, right? second option is you can exit the counseling with four feature what is four feature i already told you four feature simply means that your deposit will be forfeited you won't get any refund of 2 lakh or 25000 whatsoever your case is right so that will be forfeited and you have to exit within 2 days of r2 result so if you exit within 2 days of r2 result your you can exit and your security will be uh, forfeited next uh, case or next scenario is in r2 you are freshly registered or you are r1 unallotted one more thing that i would like to add here is any round r1 r2 r3 or stray you can do fresh registration if you haven't appeared in r1 you can register fresh in r2 haven't appeared in r2 fresh in r3 haven't appeared in r3 fresh in stray so you can do fresh registration any round okay so if there can be two set of candidates here first is in r2 first set of candidates are those who have not registered pehle and they have been freshly registered and second one are the ones who are r1 unallotted candidates jinko r1 me seat nahi mili hai so there can be two sets of scenarios here as well first is they have not been allotted in r2 as well and second is they have been allotted a seat so the first scenario is simply go and uh, go for the next round that is r3 the second case can be you have been allotted a seat then congratulations so here can also be two possibilities first is you have to report and second is you are not reporting so if you are reporting to the college then complete the admission formalities and then again they will ask you do you want upgradation if no then please go and start studying in that college but if yes then you can again go to r3 but you have to get your security forfeited here you have to get your security forfeited here i hope that makes sense means from r1 to r2 you can go fresh registration sorry all right so from r from r1 to r2 you can go to upgradation without any uh you know for feature of the security but from r2 to r3 if you still want to upgrade you have an option but you have to forfeit your deposit so you can do that and uh, if you have not reported in r2 then you have to forfeit your deposit your deposit won't be refunded so i hope this round is also clear if not then you can take a screenshot of this page and just understand it write it down on a paper and then come to me if you have any query write it down in the comments please then we have r3 so r3 is the next round that is round 3 of all india so there can be again two sets of candidates first are the ones who opted for upgradation so there can be again two sets that you have been upgraded a seat and no upgradation so if you are upgraded then please relieve 
from R2 seat and then join R3 similar to what we have discussed in R2 right and if you're not being upgraded then please go to straight on you can go to straight on next is the uh, uh, set of candidates who have freshly registered or who are R2 unallotted means R1 may be allotment in R2 may be in R3 so there can be again two sets not allotted and allotted if you're not allotted then go to straight on and if you're allotted then again you have two uh, you know options to choose from either you report to that college or don't report if you report to that college then simply join the college but here you cannot upgrade or resign okay so here you cannot upgrade or resign next option is you don't report to the college then you have to exit with four feature and this is, this is very very important that you cannot participate in further rounds of the counseling okay next we have this stray round in stray round again you have two sets that is allotted or not allotted if you're not allotted you are out of the counseling and this year i'm sorry you cannot get any college from all india in uh, stray round if you get allotment then you have to report or join the college you cannot resign it if you don't join then you have to forfeit your deposit and other than that you are debarred from for next two years for mcc counseling so this is a very very important point that they have come across this time so you cannot miss it please don't do any mistake so that agar is bar nahi mila to theek hai but you won't be able to get it for the next two years also so don't do this mistake and these are not to you know make you confused or worried these rules are made so that you don't there are some students who are just doing the counseling for fun or to just see what college they can get and any and something like that so this is just done these all rules have come so that they you know they can prevent blocking of seats so that students will only fill the seats which they are serious about ki ha agar mujhe mil gayi then i'll take it so i think that makes sense and i hope many things will be cleared now so now when you see it i hope you will understand it so this is round 1 report to the college don't report free exit i have told you everything round 2 fresh registration upgraded relief from r1 allotted does not want round one seat avail exit with four feature within two days i have told you and if allotted you can join uh if you don't join r2 seat then your uh, security will be forfeited this is round 3 exit with four feature if you don't join the college of round 3 and this is the point which i was telling you that if you don't join join the stray round then your fee will be uh, forfeited and you will be debarred for, from the counseling for the next two years so these are all the important points that you can go for isi ko inhone details mein bataya which i have already told you if you have any problem please come back to me and write it down in the comments thank you so much and all the best